so after this uh, we have to so after passengers what's up youtube it's Savant here and i hope you guys are doing well so right now i'm at the igi airport in new delhi and in a few hours i'll be boarding my flight back to canada and i know that in a few months a lot of you guys will be moving to australia canada europe etc and for a lot of you guys this will be the very first time that you'll be traveling in an international flight so to make your life easier and to give you an idea about what to expect, I'll be going over the entire process of how to board an international flight. This video is going to be super useful for you guys. So let's get started. So this is how the Delhi International Airport looks from the outside. And as you walk towards the entrance, you will see that people are saying goodbyes to their families. And this is basically where you will get the most emotional when you're just about to leave your home country. And when you walk towards the gate, the security officer will check your ticket and they will check your ID and they will ask you to lower your face mask so that they can actually identify you and compare that with the photo on your ID. Also, masks are required at all airports and throughout your journey, so make sure to carry some extra masks with you. So once you get inside, this is how the airport will look like. On these screens, you will have to check which check-in counter is allocated to your flight. So in our case, it was an Air France flight and our check-in counter was at counter E. So next, you need to go to the check-in counter where you will drop off your bags and you will also get your boarding pass. So at the check-in counter, you will have to show your documents such as your ticket, passport, PR card, study or work permit, etc. And then you will have to put your check-in bags on the conveyor belt where they will attach a sticker to your bags and your bags will be sent to the airplane. In the end, they will return all your documents and they will also give you a printed boarding pass. So make sure to collect all your documents before you leave the check-in counter. Okay, so finally we have dropped off our luggage. So basically at the check-in counter, we had to drop off our luggage because we had already checked in online 24 hours before. Uh, for me personally, this is the most stressful part of taking a flight because I think 7 out of 10 times my luggage weight is almost always overweight or on the heavier side and it's almost always on the borderline so it's always stressful I have to open up or reshuffle my bags a lot of times or sometimes I've also had to pay extra to, uh, to check in my luggage. So one pro tip for you is always, always weigh your luggage before coming to the airport so that you don't have to face the hassle of opening up your bags or reshuffling or, you know, paying extra amount just to get your luggage checked in. Yeah, and another thing is that we were able to uh, check in online on Air France's website. So you can also do that for your flight. Most of the times it opens about 24 hours or 23 hours before you board your flight. So make sure to always do that because it is much more convenient at the airport. It doesn't take that much time if you've already checked in and you also get a better seat if you already check in in like the early hours. So after you drop off your bags, the next step to board an international flight is to go through the security check and also the immigration check. So let's go. So as soon as you enter the immigration section, you will see that there is a long lineup and it's usually always this busy. And if it is not busy for you, then consider yourself to be very lucky. In my experience, this is what takes the longest at an airport. So always try to arrive at the airport two and a half to three hours before boarding an international flight. So you can get done with all the formalities and all the checking in time and you don't have to worry about missing your flight. So when you finally reach the immigration counter, the immigration officer will check all your documents once again and they might ask you questions about where you are going and why are you going there. So just try to answer all these questions confidently and honestly and then you should be good. Next you will have to go through the security check. Now this is where your carry-on bags will get checked and they will be passed through the scanning machines. You will have to remove your laptops, iPads, phones and put them all in these trays or bins for scanning. Basically you need to put everything in a tray except for your boarding pass. Remember to keep your boarding pass with you because it will get stamped at the end of this section. So once you are done with your security check, you are basically free. Feel free to check out some duty free shops or do some window shopping at premium stores. A pro tip for you is that if you are traveling anywhere and you want to buy some perfumes, liquor or chocolates, then you should always get these things from duty free shops at the airport because they are usually cheaper here.
Next, you need to find your gate from the boarding pass and if it's not written on your boarding pass, then you have to check it on the screen. Please remember that boarding starts at least 45 minutes before your flight is scheduled for departure. So make sure to arrive at your gate well in time so that you don't miss your flight. Once you are at your gate, you just need to wait for some time until your flight is actually ready to board. And once the flight starts boarding, you just need to stand in the queue and show your boarding pass and then you are through to go towards your plane. Hopefully your flight is not too long and you reach your destination or at least your layover destination if you have a layover. For us, it was an 8 hour long flight and we were completely exhausted and our layover in Paris was also really really long. So we decided to access one of the airport lounges where we could sit back and relax for a few hours. Now this is a completely optional step, you don't have to go to an airport lounge, you can just wait anywhere at the airport. A pro tip for you is that a lot of credit cards offer free airport lounge access. So if your credit card offers an airport lounge pass, then this will definitely be a good opportunity to use it. So the next thing you need to do is you need to figure out which exact terminal or gate your next connecting flight will depart from. And once you get to that terminal, you might have to do your security check once again, depending on which country you have your layover in. So for this, your carry-on bags will get checked once again and will be passed through the scanning machines. You will have to remove your iPads, laptops and phones once again and put them in these trays for scanning. Once we were done with our security check, we got an opportunity to check out Paris's duty-free outlets and do some more window shopping. And then it was finally time to hop on our final flight to Toronto. So finally, after traveling for over 20 hours, we reached Toronto. Once you reach your destination, you will have to go through the immigration check. For us, it was done using these kiosks. So most likely, you will also have to go to one of these kiosks where you will have to scan your PR card or your passport and fill in the declaration form about what are you bringing to that country. Most of this stuff is done electronically these days, especially in Canada. But if you are going to a different country, then you might have to do this physically or on a paper. The kiosk will also click a picture of yours and after everything's done, it will print out a receipt for you, which you will have to show to the border control officer for inspection. Once you are done with all this, you will be allowed to collect your bags from the conveyor belt. And as you can see that the baggage collection area was super busy for us. And due to staff shortage at the Toronto airport, our bags were delayed by two hours. So if you are also planning to come to Canada, then be prepared to expect some delays at the baggage collection. So the final step is to get your back from the carousel and then you're done. So finally we have reached Toronto and I hope now you guys know what are all the different steps that are involved in boarding an international flight and now you are fully prepared to board your first international flight out of India or out of your home country. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel to watch more such videos about studying and working in Canada and I'll see you guys in the next video.